she was a pest with Andy and I don't like her style. And and then, you know, who came out? Yeah, with a cat with a cat suit to because I and mean, I found out to get the orange. She's they, they didn't want they asked Vicky asked not to do it while she was on the show. So that's why she came back the next day and did it. And I, I, I respect that. Did she ask? Because I thought that Tamara said, I don't like, let's just out of respect for Vicky. I, I didn't realize. Well, Vicky I asked. think it was a combination. It was a combination that they didn't want to do it with Vicky sitting there. You got, listen, it's, listen, we've never, first of all, I mean, this makes sense that Tamara's back. That's the first thing. Oh, it makes sense. definitely. Definitely. She's feuding with Heather now. Yes. She's, yes. Feu- she's feuded with Shannon. She pretty much has trashed Emily and Gina as beyond boring. Oh so, my God. I mean, it makes sense. And like, I love her or hate her. Tamara is just, she gets it. She gets it. She understands yep. the assignment. She's a she good does. housewife. She does. She's good. She always was from day one. Always was. And she you know, too. So. I mean, look at, I know a lot of the Orange County girls that have come on that are like, oh, she'll do anything for the show. I find Tamara pretty authentic in the sense that like, I think she's like a loose cannon too. And she, oh, she's she a just, definite loose right? cannon. Oh, I don't think yeah. she's calculated. I think she's like. No, she goes off. She goes off. Absolutely. No, 100%. Yeah. And look, 100%. I mean, again, guys, behind the scenes, you don't just get hired. I think they're just like, you know, listen, when she left, she was like probably in the nines. I don't know. I mean, do we bring you back for the same salary? Do we say we can't afford it? We're going to listen. Tamara will go back for for a- a, a, Why not? She'll go back for 600. Like she's not- Of course. No, I mean, maybe she got a pay cut, but they also say like, honey- Wait a minute, breaking news. President Biden tests positive for COVID. This is his first time. This is his first time. Is that breaking news? Wow, breaking news. Should I be into that news? I don't know. You know, I tune out with politics. Well, um, you, can cut, you can cut this. You can no, cut I this mean, part. No, you, you, you can leave it in. I don't care. I'm oh, just okay. Like, Only be, I'm just saying. I'm not saying whether he's anything bad about him. I'm just saying our president of the United States has COVID. This is freaking crazy. But go ahead. Um, I just wish that I, you know, was like, I'm like, okay. So, I mean, that's okay. Well, that's a big thing. Um. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, no, I mean, like breaking news. I thought you were going to say like Andy Code retires or something. No, but I, I'm watching the news and it just came on. So that's why I'm saying it. Oh, my that's gosh. All. Um, no, we could leave this in. No, what was I going to say? No, um, oh, I'm sure they say to Tamara, like, look, sweetie, you got to work this out with Shannon. You got to right. come after it. Like, you don't just get your money. You don't just get your no. orange back. They're like, I think Tamara's coming to be like that, that the rebel rouser of the season, you know? Right. So let me go back. Um, when we talk about things that I've experienced, let me tell you what they do when you're on the show. Okay. So when you're getting ready to sign a contract, all right, what they do is they come to your house or they come at my situation. They came to posh the producers. All right. And they're like, what's your storyline? What are you going to do? What do you have coming up? Well, I have my posh fashion show coming up. I, at that time I was, I had a cuff line called cuffs by Kim D. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, they were really, they sold well. We did very well with them. Giving, my friend Lynn, Susanna. giving Lynn Curtin a run for her money with a cuff. Yeah. Well, they were fabulous. And Susanna, the one that, you know, from we go to her daughter's fashion shows, she worked for the company that made the cuffs cuffs by Kim D. They were great. I have some, they're beautiful. And I did very well with them. So I had the cuffs by Kim D party that they all came to. I had the posture. So I was doing a lot of things that got the girls together and they loved that. And of course I had the store, which no one else had a store at that point. So the girls were coming to film at the store. So we got, they got my storyline. They wrote it all out and then things took place. So this way they know, okay, Tamara, do you have a birthday coming up? Yeah. Okay. You can have a party. Yeah. Teresa, you got this coming up. Yeah. That's what they do. The same with Melissa, that they go to them first. Like, Danielle, they must have went to. Are you going to do anything? Yes, I'm giving my daughter a big birthday party. That's what they do. So they write it all out, and then they let it go. You know, and then they know the dates. You, They ask you your dates of when you're having it. They write them down. And then a lot, my, my events mostly were full cast because they knew there was going to be an argument. And they would come, and it would be full cast. And then whatever took place happened. It was wild, you know, so, but that's what they do. Just so you know, they come to your house or your place of business um, and they sit down with you hour, an hour and a half and they discuss your life, discuss what's going on and what you're going to do, what your events are. 
And so, let's face it, Tamara will make up an event. Okay, I'm going to renew absolutely. my vows with Eddie. I mean, whatever yes. it is, it's not that hard. But no. look, I mean, I think this is the right move for the OC. We just started oh, I do over with New York. We can't start over with the OC. It's just like, this is what, the, I mean, this is what people want. And I don't know. Absolutely. I mean, they're, they only have five. I don't, that's not going to work. They're not going. No. They're not doing five after the New York fiasco. So no. No, I don't know. You're going to hire no. a newbie. I still no, wonder. If, I like, like Tamara coming back because like you said, she has true beefs with these other girls and that's what they want. Like in reality, it's she has it's trashed M- M- Emily and Gina I as boring. Know. She I never, know. she didn't have issues with Heather and then she did. And now she does again. And her and Shannon have had a major feud that they have to work out. So yeah, yeah, this is, this is, it's the right move. Tamara was always listed and we've never seen Tamara without Vicky ever. Ever? The, the I didn't season. know that. Well, there was one season Vicky was a friend of, I guess you could right. argue we did, but not really. She was there. And now on Girls Trip, it's, 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 look, Vicky's not coming back. I'm sorry. She's great. Not now. It's going to be a different, it's going to be interesting to see Tamara without Vicky. I think Tamara okay. and Vicky, okay. they were on Watch What Happens the other night. The chemistry, yes. they have the phenomenal chemistry. Those Yes, two. they do. Phenomenal. They're funny. They're funny. They're it's cute. Just, They're very cute. It, it, it can't be the Tamara Vicky show. It has to be something. That's the different. problem. I think that's the problem. You and know, I love like Vicky. I, I do. I have a Me soft too. spot for Vicky. But this you is know the what right I think move. Vicky went down. You know what I think Vicky went down Brooks? when she was. With, yep. Yep. And I'm saying it. He had cancer, and he really brought her down. I really believe that. And you know, I really believe that. And I, I can't really say why right now. I got to think about why. Um, but he was her demise. And sometimes people just can't get that out of their head, how she was taken. Like, you're supposed to be the smart woman and you get this loser taking you for a ride. You know what I mean? It's just, people lose respect. People lose respect. So I like Vicky. And Vicky's very, you know, she she has done everything for herself. She's made really good money, even without the show. I think she's a smart woman. But, you know, I think that was her demise. I think that's when she, listen, she's still Vicky, but, and she's still getting shows, but people change their attitude towards her after Brooks. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. Did Brooks bring her down the way Luis is going to bring uh, Trey down? Yes. Listen, it's like what Eric said. But Luis night. has money. Luis has money where Brooks didn't. does, but he, he has money, but when you earn, like, it's like what Erica said last night. If I got a divorce, I would owe Tom alimony. If yep. Teresa gets a do- Teresa's the one making money. I mean, Louis 1000%. This guy is going to fucking sue her for fucking alimony. Well, the and thing is, I don't know if you'll be married money. long enough. You got to be married well, long enough to get alimony. Let's we'll see. see. Let's, let's see. see. Because you know what? I mean, she's working and he's going to, he he has a, your case as a lawyer. I mean, your case is like, I gave up my life for the, to make this person money. Well, see, I agree a hundred percent. That's the definition of what Louis is doing. He's going to say, no, no, no. I I, I was working before. And now I didn't work this. This show is all encompassing. 